Hey guys, happy Thursday. Uh, so sorry about not having a video for you yesterday. We had family come into town and I just didn't have a chance to film. I was so busy. So here I am today. You'll have a video today and tomorrow back to back. Thanks for understanding. Uh, but in today's video, we're gonna be decorating for summer farmhouse style right here on what used to be called the nut hutch. When I purchased this hutch, it was, um, how do you say it, revamped? And let's just say the handles, the poles they put on here resembled something we shall not speak about on this channel. If you are new to my channel, you're gonna say, what is this lady talking about? So if I can remember, I'll throw an iCard up there. If not, uh, maybe one of my subbies will fill you in. Needless to say, I replaced the handles. Just saying. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna decorate the top, keeping it simple. And let me show you something. I still have those industrial style barn farmhouse lights. They, uh, I bought them on Amazon. They come with a cord. You can plug them in. And I'm gonna try to conceal the cord. I know a lot of you said paint the cord, but I might paint this wall here. I don't know, I might. And in that case, then I'll paint the cord that color. So just so you can get a better look at what they look like, that's what they look like. You can swivel them um, to make them shorter or longer. And I have an Edison bulb in each of them and I love it. It just gives off the most beautiful glow especially on a dark day, you know, like a stormy day or evening hours. It's just, it's so glowy and pretty. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a large sign that will conceal those cords for the most part. And here's the sign. It says farmhouse and I think it'll be cute. I like the wood frame. This will lighten and brighten that space. And I like signs. I am not giving them up. Nope. I think they add a character to your home. So what that does is the lights illuminate the sign and I feel like it just gives it even more character. What we're gonna do next is add texture. And I found this at Hobby Lobby. It's usually uh, $13.99, I believe. Get it when it's 50% off. I love this garland because it's just wispy and pretty and dainty looking. And I'm just gonna lay it across and on the side. I just kind of tucked it this way, ran it this way, and then took it all the way down and ran it off the corner over here. So when you stand back, it looks pretty any way you look at it. See, now when I take a step back, the greenery just takes it up a little bit of a notch. So I was looking for some cute plates on Amazon and oh my goodness, the prices have been hiked up on plates. At least that's what I've noticed. So I decided to just go with some melamine plates. Why? Because they were a little less expensive than ceramic. And really, I'm just using it as a backdrop. So this is what I got. I wanted color. I want to pop a color for summer. So I found these. I think they are adorable. You get um, four plates for salad plates, and four bowls. They're really pretty. I love the colors, I love the design. So I may try to incorporate these into it because I think these are gonna be too tall. I'd have to put them up on the top and I kind of have other plans for that, I think. I have no idea where I'm going with this, you guys. Normally, I kind of play with my items and map it out before I start filming. 
I've just been so busy I didn't have a chance to today, so this is totally me on the fly. We may be making changes here and there. I also love adding trays to my displays. So I found these on Amazon, and I like them because they're not super big, but they're not small either. So um, I thought I might use the small one, the big one, I don't think I'll be using. I may use this somewhere else, but we'll be using this one today. But in case you like it, it's got the black handle, the pretty wood color. Wood always just warms up spaces. So right here, I'm thinking of just leaning this in the corner over there. All right, now within the tray, I'm going to lean one of my melamine plates just to add a pop of color. And I'm placing it off center because right there on the corner, I'm gonna be adding this beautiful little daisy bouquet, also from Amazon, and I love the writing on the front of it. Now also from Amazon, I ordered myself another riser. I, when you find something you love, you just need more of them in your life. I ordered this one for my house in West Virginia. It comes packaged like this. I really like the black one. And then the little feet are in this bag. And I'll show you how to assemble it. But it's distressed around the edges. And then it's got four little holes. And you just take the feet and screw them in. It's super, super simple. I don't know if you guys can tell, but even the little feet have, it looks like they rubbed stain on it. So they have um, discoloration, which makes them look distressed, which is kind of cool. So up top, I have this adorable riser. I love the feet on it. I found this at Home Goods for $16.99 a while back. And I'm going to set it right here. Next, I have this adorable hen from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to set it on some greenery right there. And now I'm gonna go in with a pop of color. So I'm gonna add these right there. Next, I'm gonna add some bowls and I'm gonna try to angle one like this. So I think that turned out really cute. It's bright, it's cheery, and I think it's colorful and fun for summer. Um, now on the next shelf, I'm gonna go in with this little sign. I love that it's beaded, it's black, and it says, welcome, make yourself at home. Uh, I think this was home goods. So, 
beside the welcome sign, I'm gonna add two cloches with pops of greenery with little boxwood balls on terracotta pots. You can buy these cute little terracotta pots on Amazon, you can get them at Hobby Lobby, really any craft supply store, and same with these. And boom, you've got a topiary. Next, I'm gonna add this glass cloche. You can find these on Amazon, Home Goods. Uh, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, places like that. And I'm just gonna sit this over the topiary. Actually, I'm gonna move that to this side. have a larger terracotta pot, the same boxwood ball, ball, foam topiary, larger cloche. And now I've got a larger cloche. So they're the same, but a little bit, you know, different. One's smaller, one's larger. this adorable wire basket that I found at Hobby Lobby years and years and years ago. They still sell it to this day. I just put some moss balls in here and I'm going to set that, I don't know, down there somewhere. Okay, now over there in the corner, I'm just going to Slightly angle this and then put maybe some of these holes on top. I'm going to lean this uh, somewhere in between there just as a backdrop to kind of pull that color down here. And then right there in, uh, right here in the corner, I'm just gonna add one of these little uh, garden balls. I just kind of take this string and stick it in here so you don't see it. Flip it and I'm just gonna set it right here. I am always, always, always keeping in mind how to make my displays cozy by using lighting. So I, I came up with this idea. I ordered this adorable lantern on Amazon. Um, this is what it looks like. It has a wood base and you can put an LED flameless flickering candle. You could put a topiary. You could put uh, some greenery down and put a cute bird. I mean, there are possibilities with this. I like that it's small and I'm gonna sit it right here in the corner over there and I've come up with something. So rather than using an LED flameless flickering candle, which would be gorgeous, I want something that can stay on through the day because I do, I do keep some of my lights on through the day just for ambiance. It just, it makes me happy. And so I found these on Amazon. These are silicone bulb candles. They have an on off switch, very inexpensive. And let's see what it looks like because I haven't even taken it out. But I was thinking it is small enough that I could place it in that lantern and leave it on all day. Oh, it comes with the bulb. I didn't know that. I ordered extra bulbs because I didn't think it came with one. I don't know why, but uh, anyway, let me take it out. So if you're like me and you're tired of spending money on batteries, this is a great alternative comes with the silicone bulb. Isn't that cute? And look, it almost looks like um, it has candle wax. I don't know if you guys can see. And it's fluted right here, so it's super cute. And this is my thought. So this is what it looks like on. And let me get the lantern. You could take your candle and place it in there just like that, boom done, you've got a cute display. Or you can take some greenery like I'm going to do. This just dresses it up and gives it a really adorable 
look by adding a little bit of texture, just kind of jazzes it up. So now that I've got my greenery placed, I can now take my silicone candle, just place it right in the center, and, and then you've got the cord coming out the back and you can conceal it. But hello, is that not better than an LED flameless flickering candle? It can literally stay on for as long as you like, and you've got a switch to turn it on and off. No more buying a ton of battery. And that's what it looks like. So, you know, no matter the time or day, it's gonna look cozy. When you walk past here, it's gonna be cozy. At night, it'll kind of light up some of the things on the shelving. And then up top, we've got the coziness of those lights. So I am loving this display for summer here in the log home. up my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me style my little hutch here and uh, come back and see me Friday. We'll be up to more decorating for summer. I'll see you then. Mwah. Bye guys. Girl,